The video you're about to watch may involve the use of some negative reinforcement in training. If this is something you're not comfortable with, I'd recommend not watching this video. Here's Lady, and today she's going to help us show you what things look like if it's not quite going perfectly with the train retrieve. Now, Lady's been doing really well all the way through. She's moved very quickly. Um, she's a very intelligent dog, but the hitch that we've come into is she is, she's trying to tough out the collar. Um, I've taught her through the process that the collar means fetch and she understands that. But if she chooses, I don't want to fetch that right now. Usually you should be able to turn that collar up just a little bit and get the response you're looking for. And then turn it back down to a level that they can feel and respond to. Um, but that's not the case with Lady. When we turn the collar up, she just freezes. Um, she bites down harder and doesn't want to do it. She is trying to get out of the situation and um, she can take a lot of collar and we don't want to do that. So we actually have a, a little bit different scenario with her and I'm going to show you how that works out. First of all, uh, with the collar all the way down on a one, Lady Fetch, she understands collar condition to fetch. Okay, fetch. Now, the problem that we kind of run into is if I start to, okay, if I start to put this down on the ground, fetch, then she gets confused or she acts like she doesn't want to do it. Now, up on the table, things were going well, okay, but now that we move to the ground, we need something a little bit different. So, we actually switched Lady to a collar on her belly. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. We're actually going to take her e-collar and wrap it around her stomach. Now, if you have a male dog, you're going to want to make sure and not wrap their penis up in the collar. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to go to the bathroom. But the, the prongs then are going to touch her stomach. And a lot of dogs, when you start to do this, they're going to puff out. They'll suck air into their belly. And when you go to cinch this down, you want to cinch it just as tight as you do around their neck so you can get maybe two fingers in there. But you'll have to cinch it just a little bit tighter on their belly because they're all going to puff out. And then after a couple seconds of wearing the collar, it's no longer tight enough. Um, so we'll cinch this down pretty snug with her here. And because of the fact that she already understands collar conditioning to fetch, she feels the collar, she fetches something, this is going to move relatively quickly. Um, we're going to start again on the lowest level of stimulation. It's just in a different place. And um, typically dogs can't take quite as much collar on their belly because it's a little bit more sensitive area. So a dog like Lady, who is pretty tough, um, we're going to be able to hopefully get through with her um, with as little pressure as possible. Lady. 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 Fetch. Now, this is a little bit new because it is on her belly now. Lady. Fetch. But she knows what fetch means, so we're just going to show her a few times with lighter pressure. And then we have the opportunity to, if she's freezing or decides she doesn't want to do it, we can turn that collar up just a little bit and, and help her through this. Okay. Fetch. Good. Okay. Fetch. Where you at? Lady. Fetch. Good. Okay. Fetch. Good. Okay. Now you can see already we're getting quite a bit um, faster response out of her with the collar on her belly. She's trying to grab for it. Fetch. And that's a completely different look than what we saw with the collar on her neck just a few minutes ago. Okay, so we're going to start moving this closer to the ground. Lady. Fetch. Come on. Fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. And we're going to turn the collar up just a little bit. Fetch. Good. Okay. Fetch. Good. Okay. Fetch. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Fetch. Lady. Fetch. Good. Okay. Now you can see she's lunging at it. She's grabbing it very quickly. You can tell that this is a little bit more sensitive area, so we've got a... She doesn't want to freeze, and she doesn't want to try and tough it out. She just wants to do what she already knows, which is what we need. Okay? 
fetch. Good girl. Okay. Fetch. Fetch it. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Come on. Looking back. Good. She's trying to figure out how to get out of it, which, because it's a little more sensitive. Now, I'm going to turn that collar down just a little bit. We're getting, we're starting to get the response that we need, but if she decides, well, I'll just tough it out, again, we'll turn the collar back up. Okay? We want to use the least amount of pressure necessary, so anytime I get the response I'm looking for, we turn that collar back down just a little bit. Fetch. Good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fetch. Fetch. Good girl. Okay. Fetch. Good. Now we've got the collar on a three. Um, okay. On the table, she was able to take just about any level on the collar around her neck. Just because it's, it's different for her and every dog's going to be a little bit different. So if you have a dog that um, fully understands collar conditioning and fetch, like Lady does, um, we showed that to start off with, we're using the belly collar to help her through this process because we need something that she can respond to um, and not tough out. We need to show her that when we say fetch, when we ask her to fetch, she needs to do it. Let us know if you have any other questions and we'll keep you updated on ladies progress.